This is a film showing a train moving British armored vehicles across Canada. The British armor was being moved from the British Army Training Unit Suffield, or Battis, in Alberta, Canada, back to its home in Great Britain. The armor would be moved back to Britain either for repairs or as part of the planned reduction of the Army's Challenger tank force. Armor has been moved by rail since tanks were first developed by the British in the First World War. In Canada, the rail companies run long and heavy trains to transport goods. It's now not uncommon to have trains stretch as much as three miles or more than four kilometers and weigh up to 18,000 tons. Apart from other cargo, the train was hauling Challenger 2 main battle tanks and the bridge layer and armored repair vehicle variants of it, as well as AS-90 armored self-propelled artillery. The train stopped for 15 minutes just outside of the city, so it was possible to walk alongside the train and see the armored vehicles up close. The British Army Training Unit Suffield, or BATIS, is the British Army's largest armored training facility and it can accommodate live fire exercises up to the battle group level. It was deeply ironic that as the train pulled away to return the armor to Britain, the NATO allies in Afghanistan were in the process of bugging out of that country to return home and seek control back over to the Taliban. Of course, there's no guarantee that a train movement will go smoothly and sometimes the result can be disastrous, just like the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Life like the army is an adventure after all. Yeah.